Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk Messages, your spiritual guidance for the week. I am Cheryl, the Healing Dancer, and this is where I pull some oracle cards, give you some messages and guidance for the week. And just know that this message is for you whenever you are seeing it. It doesn't have to be on this day, which what the hell is the date anyway? Okay, today is October 30th, 2023. So I'm just going to get right into it. I've already pulled the cards. So this way we can make the video a little shorter grab your cup of coffee, favorite drink, whatever, and let's get going. Take a sip. All right, so today's message is coming from the Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. I love these cards. They are beautiful. And then, of course, we also have our affirmation card for the week, which is Be You, Do You, For You from Lamar. All right, so the first card that came out there's two cards that came out from this work your light deck um, is break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So this has a lot to do with family, past and present family. So when we work on healing ourselves, when we work on ourselves, that helps to heal our family lineage, our ancestral patterns. So a lot of the stuff that we have going on, a lot of the patterns that are reoccurring in our lives, a lot of the things that we are dealing with come from the past, come from ancestry, come from our generations of family before us, before this lifetime. So it has to do with breaking those patterns. You are here on this earth today to break those patterns. So whatever you are struggling with, whatever you're like, oh my gosh, I wish that this would just stop happening in my life or whatever it is. Know that if you work on yourself, you're going to help to heal these past things that are coming up for you. Okay. I know like, um, a long time ago, um, I can't remember. I, I think I went to a doctor for skin. I think it was a dermatologist. I cannot even remember. It's been so long. And she was also like an intuitive and she just placed her hand on my heart before we even talked about any of the medical stuff and was like, you need to work on yourself. You can't change others. So when you work on yourself, that helps to change others. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. So let's see what the book says card you're being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors this could mean letting go of an old pattern or your material or paternal line maternal or paternal line sorry healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you we carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations this is why family patterns can be the hardest to break Often they are not even ours to begin with, but we do not know another way of being, so we continue playing out the drama. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Energy is freed up. You are being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of being or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. So what is coming up for you when you hear this message? And you cannot heal another person. You cannot change another person. That is what's really standing out to me with this message. You cannot change another person. You can only change yourself. And that's not saying anything bad that like, oh my gosh, well, why do I have to change myself? That person should change their selves. No. The reason why these things come up is because they're coming up to be healed. So look at yourself and maybe ask these questions. What old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go of? And then seek, assist seek assistance from your support team, tribe, friends, healer, coach, et cetera, 
to begin freeing yourself from it now. So sometimes when we talk about these things with our friends, with if you have an energy healer, um, you know, a therapist, a coach or whatever, they might help you to see what's causing these patterns and where you need to start to work on yourself. You can even go within and ask yourself, what can I do to move forward to, to break this, this pattern or this reoccurring thing that keeps coming up in my life? And then the answer will come to you. It will. You just have patience. But the real message here is in order to break these ways of being is to first take notice that this is something that keeps coming up for you and that it's something you do want to heal, that you do want to move on from. That's the first step. And then everything else is going to open up for you. But also remember, you cannot heal or change anybody else. You start with yourself, just like self-love, right? Just like self-love, you start with yourself. You love yourself first, and then you have more to give to everybody else. All right, the next card that came out is kind of, well, it does go hand in hand with it. And it says, dance with life, do something to change your energy. So if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling low energy, negativity, it's time to change your energy. And you do that by doing something that you haven't done before. You have to, whether it's dancing, dancing is such a great way to change the energy of whatever you're dealing with, because it moves that energy out of your body. So we're going to do something this week to change our energy, to get out of the stuckness, to get out of the negativity. And it might sound stupid to, oh, let me just dance and I'll feel better. Try it. Why not? Right? Try it. All right. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Come on, light. Come on. There we go. Life is always moving. If you resist this ever-changing flow, your energy will become stagnant and you will flat out and you will fall out of flow with the universe. The universe has a mysterious intelligent force, a natural rhythmic beat, which governs all of life. One of the best ways to shift your energy, frequency, and vibration is to put on some music and dance along with it. When we dance unrestrained, our spirit takes over. And with each new bop, sway, and kick, we are rocked back into harmony with the rest of life. Get unstuck by doing something that shifts your vibration. Put on some music, dance unrestrained, and fall into the frequency of life. In doing so, your body will begin to learn how to be moved by your intuition, which is connected with the systematic beat. Systemic beat, sorry. If dancing isn't your thing, then simply do something that you would not usually do to shift the energy. You cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it, and you cannot attract a different experience without changing your energy first. It's time to shift things up and find a way to dance along with the beat of life. So do something this week to change your energy. And like it says, if dancing is not your thing, it's fine. I don't understand, but should be for everybody. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> If dancing is not your thing, it's not for everybody. I get it. If dancing is not your thing, listen, music is a universal healing tool. If there is a band you like, if there is a certain song you like, put it on, scream it at the top of your lungs, or just like move a little bit to the beat while you're driving, whatever. Do something to change your energy this week, okay? And this is why dancing, I'm called Cheryl the Healing Dancer, because dancing is so healing and it helps to change the energy. It also helps to integrate any healing work that you have done on yourself. It's the intention behind it. So get your ass moving this week, okay? Get it moving. All right, our affirmation for this week. I release all negative thoughts of the past and all worries about the future. Past ancestral shit we are letting go of. We are healing ourselves to let go of reoccurring patterns. We are breaking free of the bullshit, okay? We are dancing 
We're doing something to change our energy. And that is all helping you to release negative thoughts of the past and worries about the future, okay? So how that ties in to this, again, letting go of negative thoughts of the past, ancestry, ancestral karma, whatever you want to call it. That is, we are letting go of that shit this week. And then when we start to have anxiety and worry, that's what we're worried about the future. So in order to change the energy in our life this week, we are dancing. We are doing something to change the energy, to let go of the past and to not worry about the future, but also to move the energy. So we're moving in the direction that we want to do to create the life that we want to create. Okay. So one more time, that affirmation is, I release all negative thoughts of the past and all worries about the future. So I hope that you have an amazing week. I love you. Keep dancing your dance. Drink your coffee. No. <laughs> and I will see you soon. See you next time.